guys, I am Lindsay. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Inside the Hem, where we are sewing the Seamwork Fallon Jogger Pants together. This is episode three. So we are going to be assembling the pants. We're gonna be doing the inseam, the crotch seam, all of that kind of stuff. So you will have something that looks a lot like a pair of pants at the end of this video. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> we are gonna go to the front rise, the one that only has one notch in the front. Well, also now you know that this one with this pocket and the one with the knee patch, lots of ways to determine front from back at this point. So right sides together. We are going to sew and finish the front and then you can just scoot it over and we are going to sew and finish the back. All right, next up are the inseams. Again, they recommend finishing separately and then pressing open, but I'm gonna press mine together. I'm just gonna search them and press them together. So you're opening this up like so, where at this point, the front and the back legs are touching, like the inseams are touching, obviously. So we're making like a hem, and then we're coming up to the crotch, right, where your front and back seams that you just sewed should come together and then we're coming down the other side of the inseam you might have done pants where you do the you make like two tubes this is just mixing that up a little bit we're all going to arrive at the same place this is just how they instruct it they do the front rise back rise then inseam you can do inseam and then front rise back rise and one big scoopy thing but it's all gonna be the same. It all still makes pants. Okay, <laughs> so pin these, sew, um, finish, press, all the good stuff. Okay, one tip I do have, when you get to the crotch, you want one of the side seams to go to the left and one of them to go to the right so that you have like a nice flat situation happening. And then to ensure that when you go to attach the waistband, these don't get crisscrossed. That happens to me all the time. I go ahead and pin this one this way like that um, that way I know that it's going to go this way and then I can do the other one going this way just to remind myself and I might get when I go to pin the waistband I'll remove these but at least the seam allowances will be facing the right way I love that I get to use so many of my fun tools on this project. This is called a sleeve board um, and it's a small little ironing board so that you can put your sleeve on and, and press the under seam. It also works really great for pants and seams. So I just slid the leg on here and pressed them all to one side. So grab yourself a sleeve board if you wanna make your life a little bit easier at the iron. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be finishing the pants. So we're going to be doing the waistband and we're going to be doing the ankle hem elastic as well and um, wrapping this thing up. So I will see you there. 